It's a triple foam setup with the completely redesigned New Balance 860 V13. Let's run with it. Before we get started, I do want to say these shoes were provided to me by Roadrunner Sports. However, they didn't have a chance to preview this video, and this final synopsis is my own. I'd also like to say please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. Here we go. The 860 is one of New Balance's most popular shoes. It's a workhorse stability daily trainer that has a lot of premium materials and should last quite a while. Now this shoe is used by a wide variety of people. If you're on your feet all day at work or if you want a good walking shoe, I think this works well for you. And if you're a runner who wants some stability with a solid platform, I think the 860 V13 kind of falls into that category as well. So this shoe gets a lot of mixed use. Everything, like I said, from being on your feet all day to running, this is kind of your do it all classic New Balance daily trainer. And I think what New Balance is kind of known for in the shoe world. As far as stats go, the 860 V13 will cost $140 and weighs 10.9 ounces, which is roughly a three tenths of an ounce increase compared to the previous version. So we do go up slightly in the weight department. As far as stack, stack height goes, I couldn't find any exact measurements, but I think it's somewhere in like the 34 to 36 millimeter stack height range with that same 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe. I do believe it's gonna be a slightly thicker shoe compared to the previous version. Something else very important to note is this shoe is very accommodating. It comes in almost every width and size. I believe everything from like a 2A all the way up to a 4E and then all the way up to like a men's size 16. So no matter your foot size or shape, uh, you should find a version of this that fits. And I think that's uh, quite a nice thing because I realize not all models do that. And now let's talk about the midsole. This thing got a complete redesign from head to toe and the midsole I think makes the biggest impact, pun intended, mainly because it's gonna be a softer experience now featuring Fresh Foam X like we see with the 1080 and the more. Now this is a triple density setup, which I think is quite unique. You have the Fresh Foam X, which is the white foam here. And then you have this blue foam, which according to, they didn't ex exactly specify, but it's gonna be a bouncier foam than the Fresh Foam. And then on the medial side, you have that posting. It's this white chunk here. Hopefully you can kind of see it. it's a separate kind of density section, which is gonna be much harder. So it keeps your foot from rolling to the inside. So if you tend to pronate, that'll give you a little bit of guidance there as well. So triple foam setup with the blue foam being slightly bouncier, fresh foam X being fresh foam X, and then that harder, more dense foam on the medial side, giving you that posting, keeping your foot from rolling to the inside. So uh, yeah, quite an interesting setup from the 860 here, and uh, I think it works quite well. The midsole also has some mini foam sidewalls or guide rails, if you will. You can kind of see it here towards the back half on the lateral side, and you do get another one here on the medial side. This is just another support element that gives you a little bit of guidance as you run. Now, if you're someone who supinates or rolls to the outside, this can help you. I probably would go with a different shoe because if you're supinating, you're are gonna have maybe have an issue with that medial post wedge, which is really, I think, intended for people who pronate or roll to the inside. But overall, I thought this provided a very stable experience. New Balance, they reformulate the medial post to have a more natural feeling. I thought it worked well. I don't know about what a more natural feeling feels like. You just feel like you have a medial post there. It wasn't super intrusive. It didn't feel like a clunky experience. And you do get used to it the more miles you put into the shoe. But overall, I thought it was a very supportive shoe. I did appreciate how locked in I felt, especially with those mini kind of foam sidewalls on both sides. And then that medial posting, it really, really does give you um, a nice level of guidance. Now, if you're a neutral runner, I probably would go with a neutral shoe like the 1080. But if you're someone who does want that medial support, I think this is a solid option to go with. And while using this shoe, I really did appreciate this top layer of blue foam, which is a different compound than Fresh Foam X. It has a little bit more bounce to it. And I think it did change the overall experience, especially compared to something like the 1080, which is just purely Fresh Foam X. Now, Fresh Foam X isn't the bounciest foam. I think it's more focused on cushioning and being soft. So the fact that they added this bouncier blue foam really kind of elevated the Fresh Foam experience I had with the 860 V13. I thought it had a little bit more life to it, felt a little bit bouncier, and I would actually love this kind of setup in a neutral shoe. So even though I did like running in this, and I do kind of like a support shoe sometimes, so I really did thoroughly enjoy running with this. Um, I think it would work well in a neutral setup as well, in a version similar to like the 1080. Um, uh, the dual density, triple density, if you count the medial posting, works well here and makes the shoe feel a bit more lively. Now, it's not like the bounciest shoe ever, especially if you compare it to like their fuel cell line, but it did have an elevated, more fun experience compared to a shoe that is just purely Fresh Foam X. Moving on 
to the upper. I will say this does fit true to size, but does fit a little bit more snug if you've tried other New Balance shoes like the 1080 or the more. I thought those had plenty of room while this fits a little bit more snug. So I wouldn't really recommend going up half a size. It's just gonna be a little bit more of a narrow fit. But like I mentioned before in this video, you do have a wide variety of widths and lengths when it comes to this particular model. As far as the breathability goes, I thought it was quite good for this traditional engineered mesh upper. And you also do have some stitching here on the medial side that gives you a little bit more structure as well as this is a stability shoe. So you have a little bit of support there as well. Now, as far as the lockdown and fit goes, I would rate this as superb. This is not a shoe you can easily slip in and out of. You really do have to untie it to get your foot out because of how good the lockdown is. And that's for a couple of reasons. The first being, I think the lacing system comes up a little bit higher compared to most conventional sneakers. So you do have a little bit more lace coverage. Next, you have that gusseted tongue, which keeps the tongue in place and gives you that extra layer of fabric around your midfoot. And then the heel counter, I think is the real star of the show. It gives you a nice little spot for your heel to kind of lock in with a moderate amount of padding in the ankle and Achilles area. So all those things together, all those things together give you a great fit. And I felt very connected to this shoe overall. Um, again, it's going to be a little bit more snug compared to most other New Balance fits like the New Balance 1080 and the more. But overall, like I said, fits true to size and just has a superb lockdown. The tongue is very similar to what's on the more V4. It's kind of like two layers of engineered mesh folded on top of each other with a little bit of padding in between. I think this works well. I kind of like this. It's not overbuilt, doesn't absorb a ton of sweat, but isn't super minimal um, where it doesn't keep the lace pressure off. So I think it kind of walks that line very well and is fairly comfortable, especially because it is gusseted and I do love a gusseted tongue. The other thing I'll say is it's a low profile tongue, so it kind of stays in line with the silhouette and doesn't pop out too much either. And in classic New Balance fashion, you have a ton of thick rubber coverage here that should last you quite a while, which is part of the reason I think people buy the 860. It's just their daily driver uh, meant to log a ton of miles or just be worn all day, every day. So having this much rubber coverage and this thickness of rubber, I think is a huge win for those people. How However, if you're someone who wants something a little bit lighter, because this is like a 10.9 ounce stability shoe, uh, you might want to go in a different direction. But uh, yeah, ton of thick rubber coverage here, and I thought the grip worked well. It didn't have any issues. So where does that leave us? Well, the 860 V13 becomes much softer and a little bit bigger and heavier compared to its predecessor. However, I quite enjoyed my time with this shoe. And like I mentioned before, this shoe comes in almost every width and size. So I think there is an option for almost anyone who wants to get this on their foot. And I really, really did enjoy having that dual density or triple density if you include again the medial posting um, midsole setup here and I thought it made it a little bit more dynamic compared to other shoes which is just purely fresh foam x so the overall ride and experience here I, I thought was quite nice and the only real big negative for me was the shoe was on the heavier end of things it might not be the bounciest option compared to like the wider community of stability shoes but for the New Balance 860 and for people who just want one shoe to kind of last them a ton of miles and be a walking work shoe and kind of moderate stability shoe for their like their runs I think it's a great option and New Balance made some solid updates here. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the 860 V13? What do you like about it or what do you not like about it? Or what other New Balance shoe are you looking forward to? Well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.